Good afternoon. Uh, I had uh, uh, a very pleasant meeting uh, with uh, with Mr. Bill Gates of Microsoft. I had met him when I was the Chief Minister of the State of Karnataka. And after a gap of 10 years, I had uh, the privilege of uh, again meeting him and exchanging notes uh, with him. Uh, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation in India has been rendering exemplary services to the people and uh, so that visible changes on the ground in fighting disease and poverty alleviation. Uh, the Gates Foundation uh, made positive contribution in the area of uh, eradication of polio in India. It is indeed a happy situation where in India recently marked a year without any fresh incident of polio. I can certainly see the efforts of organizations such as Gates Foundation in India help achieve such as zero polio detection in a year. I understand that the Gates Foundation is also working in prevention of AIDS in India. And uh, this program also has been uh, going on to the satisfaction of uh, the foundation itself and to the people who are involved in it. You know. We did discuss with uh, Mr. Gates about uh, the efforts uh, that we ourselves are making in Africa uh, very recently, about two years back, uh, the Prime Minister uh, uh, met uh, the heads of uh, governments in Ethiopia and uh, pledged $5 billion of uh, 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 aid to the African countries. You know. And we explored the possibility of associating ourselves with the Bill Gates Foundation and whatever the work they have been doing in Africa, perhaps the government of India also could, uh, be, could be associated or could be, we could become, we could jointly explore the possibilities as to how much uh, we can interact with each other. Uh, Anyway, I'm going to Washington uh, on the uh, 12th of uh, June for uh, the strategic uh, uh, meeting and consultations. And I'm glad that uh, a few of my uh, senior colleagues uh, would be joining me. And uh, uh, Mr. Gulam Nabi Azad, uh, the Minister for uh, Health, is also uh, going to be in Washington. and we will take this idea forward when we discuss this with uh, uh, the secretary in charge of health of uh, government of uh, United States. You know. Sir, recently, sir, recently some of the members of Team Anna has alleged that uh, you are involved in land allo allocation for the mining. Sir, how do you respond to these allegations? Yeah. Well, uh, you, 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 you know that I was chief minister of uh, uh, the con this state uh, between 1999 and 2004. During my tenure as chief minister, I never held the portfolio of either the forests or mines and geology. Two uh, very independent persons who were holding these portfolios and were discharging their functions with respect to the, uh, to the departments which were allocated to them. Mysore Minerals Limited is a company duly incorporated under the Companies Act having separate and independent existence. 
the affairs of the company are managed by the board of directors and uh, the chief minister had no role to play in the decisions taken by the board of directors of that company. Honorable Justice Santosh Hegde, uh, the then Lok Ayukta of Karnataka, after having conducted detailed investigation into the transactions of the company, found, found nothing against me and as such exonerated me of all the allegations. Further, Honorable High Court of Karnataka has also quashed all the allegations made against me in relation to the affairs of the Mysore Mineral Limited in the private complaint. Pursuant to the National Mineral Policy of Government of India in 1993, upon the request of central government, the state cabinet decided to de-reserve the mineral bearing areas which were hitherto reserved for only state exploitation. No forest land, no forest land as such were de-reserved, but only the mineral bearing areas were de-reserved. If the mineral bearing areas were found to be in forest lands, then prior approval from government of, uh, from the central government had to be obtained, and then only they could conduct the mining activity in compliance with the provisions of the Forest Conservation Act. Though applications were received from the interested persons, entities, pursuant to the notification dated 15-3-2003, no applications were processed during my tenure as Chief Minister. Further, no mining lease uh, have been uh, granted till date under the said notification. However, some vested interests are trying to project as if the state cabinet in 2002 took the decision to de-reserve forest lands, which is wholly incor incorrect and contrary to the records. On the said issue, the matter is pending before the Honorable Supreme Court of India, and the same is sub -judice. I have no reservations for any kind of inquiry or investigation. However, since Justice Santosh Ekde, as the Lokayukta of Karnataka, had conducted a detailed investigation and had exonerated me of any wrongdoing, it is highly improper for anyone to ask for another investigation again, which is aimed only at disreputing me and to malign my 50 years of unblemished public life. I, I will reply in detail to the motivated allegations made against me uh, uh, to the Honorable Prime Minister, providing all the necessary details which will substantiate the position that I am stating before you. And for your information, these are uh, the two uh, volumes uh, of report which Justice Santosh Hegde, after laboriously working and produced these two reports, you know, and so they have gone, he has gone thoroughly into this. Mr. Minister, are you going to sue the team, are you going to sue team Anna? Because mm -hmm. there were reports you might sue them for this, for wrongful oh. allegations. Well, uh, one of the issues is before the Supreme Court. If, if anyone were to make personal acquisition against me, then perhaps I reserve the right to react in a manner which I think fit. You know. Thank you. Yep.
about one minister uh, who would be accompanying uh, 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 you or who would be independently there in Washington, Minister of Health, Gulam Nabi Ajad. But uh, what, what's going to be your delegation, composition of your delegation? Oh. I'm so, talking about your visit to the United yeah. States. No, there are uh, other ministers yeah. also. Yeah. Uh, uh, very senior uh, distinguished ministers I mean, who, these people who will be coming along. And but I mentioned Mr. Gulam Nabi Azad uh, in relation to Mr. Bill Gates' visit right. to me. You know, right. it is only in that connection. And what issues are, are going to be major highlights during the visit? I mean, well, will there talk, strategic dialogue? Well, it's strategic dialogue yeah. with the United yeah, States. That's right. Well, I think. Uh, the strategic dialogue with the United States will encompass uh, a number of uh, uh, issues and that will, need, that will, that will deal with uh, uh, security, peace and prosperity in the region, stability in the region, and uh, uh, the, the involvement of uh, our technocrats in the United States and then providing visas for them, and a number of issues you know, which are going to be uh, discussed in the strategic dialogue. You know. And uh, in fact, Mr. Kapil Sibal, who is the Minister of uh, Telecommunications, is also going to be part of the delegation. So he will be having separate meetings. Then all of them, all of us, will join together and uh, we will have this strategic meeting. Sir, uh, so, I didn't understand whether you are suing or not. I have already answered that question. Sir, I, in fact, I wanted clarification on the same subject. Would you, would you repeat, sir, what you said? Huh? Could you repeat what you said on the matter? Are you going to sue them? Uh, could you please no, repeat No, no, if, if anybody were to make personal allegations touching on my reputation, then I reserve the right to react in a manner which I think would be proper. Thank you.